Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Life Is Me. I have my weekly unboxing, <laughs> unboxing, my weekly setup in my Hobonichi weeks. And this is for the week of 9-11. And let's see, I think I already have my page here. All right, here it is, the week of 9-11. Um, and in case anybody asked, I, last time somebody asked, and a couple of times I've been asked about where I got this cover, I made this one myself. This is out of cork that I purchased at Joann's. I had purchased it for another project, which I can't even remember what it was for. I wanted to buy a cork cover from Hobonichi Weeks, and I've bought them before, purchased them before from Documented Journey. Brie at Documented Journey, but her shop happened to be closed. So I ended up trying to make it myself because I was impatient and I thought, I can't wait. I need it right now. So I made it myself. The work pen, I mean, the workmanship, the stitching is nowhere near like hers is professionally done or it looks professionally done, it, handmade, but it looks like, well, I guess it's still professionally done, right? She's so professional. Oops, I just dropped something. Anyway. So I just made it, my stitching's weird, but I don't care, it works. So again, if I would, if her shop would have been open, I would have just purchased it from her because it's just easier, right? <laughs> anyway, um, in the interest of saving time, I, I already did my lines and I did them with a pink marker. Oh, I don't have it with me. Oh, that, it's like, um, I'll link it below if I can, or I'll at least write the description. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, maybe I do have it. Hold on. Hold please. Okay, I did have it with me. I drew in the lines with this Uni Emot, and it's a fine 0.4 millimeter fine liner, I guess. And so it works. I like it because it's waterproof. So if anybody's looking for a waterproof pen, these ones are waterproof, or at least the pink and the black are. My daughter didn't like them. I don't remember why she didn't like them. So I took them over. I think maybe it's just too skinny and she didn't feel that it was as comfortable to write with. Okay, so I am i haven't decided what I want to use in my Hobonichi this week. I do have the date covers that I normally use, but I guess it depends on what I use for the background. I was thinking about using either these that I, I think I mentioned in a previous video. I purchased them on AliExpress and they're cute. I just, I don't know, I'm not sure how to use them or how I want to use them. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, um, they're not really, it says masking sticker paper, but I don't think it's masking. I think it's a little thicker. Or does this one say the same thing? Yeah, this one says the same thing as far as a type masking sticker set. But these ones feel, I guess this one feels more like washi. This one feels more like it's got a coating on it, like a plastic coating. These are cute too, though. I like this like aqua gingham. I feel like I'm fighting against time here for the purposes of light. Oh, that's cute too. Oh, that's cute too. These stripes, these little hearts. I'm going to use one. I think I'm gonna use this one. I don't know how I'll use it, but I'll use it and I'll show you what they look like. I really purchased these for a tin because I watched a video and it was a long time ago of a lady that made a watercolor set out of this like use the half pans I think and put a little brush in here a little mini brush and that was her travel palette and I think that sounds fun but um, I obviously I haven't actually done it oh but you know what will this match with this pink Maybe I'll have to draw over that pink. But anyway, let me, well, this is not gonna cover the whole bottom though. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use that and then I'm going to use, should I use this blue or this blue? I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and where is 
is my, what I do with my little, here it is. Okay, I use this to cut my washi and this is just a metal multi-tool. Oh, and I brought the packaging so I could show everybody what it is. This is a packaging. I saved it last time I purchased one and I kept forgetting to show it. It's from Ozark Trail. I get it at Walmart. Uh, Amazon has some too. If you just type in 10 in one pocket tool or car tool, I think in one of my videos I linked it. If I can remember, I'll link them again. But anyways, um, anyway, I can't find them at walmart.com, but I do see them at the Walmart store still. They're in the camping section, Ozark Trail, 10 in one pocket tool. And I just love it for, for washi cutting. I mean, it's a little heavy, but not like I'm carrying it around. But let me just cover. And I went outside the line too when I was drawing these lines. I'm not a good inside the line person. I'm not that careful. Oh, that's so crooked too. All right, let me see if I can take it off. I can. I think it's, well, it's because I did it so crooked. That's why it looks crooked too. Oh well, it's just gonna be a crooked day. A crooked week. Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. I almost did Saturday right there. Okay. All right, so that's that. And I don't know how I'm gonna use these. Should I? It's not gonna be enough to cover the bottom. If I just do the sides, that'll look weird, right? Yeah, and this definitely is thicker than washi. You know what, there's enough for me to, to kind of piece it together. Oh, that'll work. Oh, you know what, that, I wonder if I can just overlap that. It'll make it a little thicker, but that's okay. The pattern didn't match it. There. That's okay, right? I don't know. I'll just stick that back on there. I can still use that little piece for something, right? And you know what? It has some skinny ones up here. Or a skinny one. A thin one. This one is thick. But it has little strips. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of weird, right? And then it has these little dots. And I think some of the other ones have like different designs too. Do they? Or are they the same? Nope, they're the same. For some reason I thought that they had different like shapes, not designs. I don't know that that blue matches too well, but oh well. Should I watercolor the top? I think I will. Let's see, I have my Artemis paints. Oh no, I dropped it earlier. This is what I dropped. And this one cracked and fell out. It doesn't want to go back in. Oh no. Getting sidetracked here. Oh, it's because a chunk of it broke off. How do I fix that? So it goes in. If I shove it over there. Yeah. Okay, so, you know what, I really like that green. It's like a shiny metallic green. You guys see that? I wonder if I should just use that. Let me scrape that, some of that other one got on top of that. And I think this is Justice. I think I want to use that green. Or maybe I want to mix that green with the Cerulean. Let me see what happens with that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let 
let's see. Get some of this. Oh wait, this isn't. I don't know which which is which actually. Oops. Because obviously they're not in order. What is this? Oh, this is a cerulean. I don't even know what this is. I think this is the other black one, right? Well, this one doesn't have a name. Oh, you know what? That's not even an Artemis paint. That's from somewhere else. So this is this, Thalo Blue. That's not what I wanted to use. I'm gonna use this one. This one is cerulean. I really like using blues, apparently. I think this one was like a denim blue or something. I kinda wanna try it. I don't remember where I purchased it though. I think it was on Etsy somewhere. Is it a Jasper Stardust one? I think it might be. All right, I don't know what's gonna happen when I mix that green with that blue, but I'm hoping I like it. Just because I want the shimmer from that green on the blue. Let's see, where is it? How much is that? This is called Wilderness. All right, that's gonna be enough. I think that's the only color I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna close this up. Okay, let's see what color this ended up being. Ooh, I like the color. Doesn't match, but I like it. I'm just gonna go to the edge here. That's a really pretty color, I think. I wish I had more time to take like some watercolor classes. Oh, I went over the line there. Oh well. But yes, I do wish I had time to take, even on like my daughter subscribes to Skillshare. And uh, I forget what kind of classes she looks or she watches or takes. She's into all kinds of stuff. She's She's pretty creative. I think maybe some crocheting. I enjoy crocheting and knitting. I think my preference is knitting. But I enjoy crochet too. I just think for me, I think knitting is easier. She doesn't agree. She thinks crocheting is easier. But with knitting, I don't know. I feel like I guess it's more intuitive for me. Like even if there's a pattern, you can kind of learn it. I guess you can with crochet too. I don't know. So should I do the border? I think I'm gonna do the border. Or at least a line, you know? I'm just gonna do one of these lines here just to frame it because I feel like the date covers kind of frame it on the other side. Yeah, I'm not doing a great job here. I've seen inside the lines, but if you're not new to my video, videos or my channel, you know that I'm not super precise when it comes to this stuff. I really like this color. It's like a jade green. It doesn't match that washi or those stickers at all. But I don't care. All right, that's all I'm gonna watercolor, I think. I think. Let me clean this brush. And I think that pink doesn't really match. 
So what, am, what do I want to use? Since I'm not going to use any more watercolor, I think I can use this. This is my Opus 88. Is It has a, I think, forest, autumn forest. Um, let me see. It is, oh, I almost closed that. It is, it is, oh, okay, this is not the one I'm wanting to use. I wanted to use my Twisby. Twisby Go has, where is it? Oh, that Autumn Forest, Dominant Industry Autumn Forest, because it's a shimmer. I want to use that. Okay, and I like it because I'm running out, so I'm hoping I use it up. But there's still some in there, so hoping there's enough for this. I forget which pens twist on and off. Okay, now where's my ruler? Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can, is this dry enough? If I can redraw this line with this green. Oh, I like it. Just because it doesn't match, right? I mean, you can probably still see a little bit of that pink underneath. But I want to cover it a little bit if I can. I feel like this wants to lift up a little bit. Should I? gonna have to be good enough and here it is yeah so my Hobonichi order arrives tomorrow and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to even I should be have time to pick it up before the place closes because they don't close till 7 I order it to FedEx because I don't like stressing about my packages not getting delivered or it getting stolen not that it's ever I've never had a package stolen but I know so many people that I've had their packages stolen that I don't even want to risk it and that's immediately where my mind goes if I don't pick it up right away I'm like oh my gosh somebody's gonna steal my package which kind of sucks that I would immediately go to that right but anyway I stress out about it so it's easier for me if I just have it delivered to the FedEx location I can just go there at my leisure and pick it up. And then I think one time they delivered it to the wrong place, which didn't make me happy either. My post office does that notoriously. So if I can, I get stuff delivered to my PO box because my post office is awful. But the only thing about my PO box is that I forget to go check it and it closes. Well, the post office, I can pick stuff up, but if it's a larger package where I have to go to the counter, if it's closed, then I can't pick it up, right? If it's just in my peel box itself, I can. Although my post office now has little boxes, like larger boxes where they leave your package. If it's not too big or if there's room, you know, that's convenient. I like that. I really like this shimmer watercolor. It's so pretty. And I do like this ink. And again, what did, what did I say it was called? Autumn Forest. And it's from Dominant Industry. I don't know if you can see this shimmer. I can, but I don't I don't think you can. Not here anyway. Alright, so should I write the dates with this? Maybe. Okay, today is the 11th. So I'm just... And if you're new to my channel, I redate my weeks because I prefer a Sunday start. And it just works better for me for work. I like it. And let's see, what do I want to do? I think I'm just going to write the stuff in with this. You know, my, my titles, 
although I don't know that I'm very good at that, right? I'm just gonna hit, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to write <laughs> meter, but it just makes it look like an elementary schooler wrote it. Habits. Maybe. I think this might be too thick to write in the days of the week and stuff. Well, I'm going to try it. Let's see. Water. Vitamin. Um, exercise. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Uh, no junk. Again, I'm going to write yoga. Haven't done it all year, but one day. Yoga and then no spend. I've been trying to stay off the Hobonichi website, so I don't like how it's all like it's not even. I usually try to make it so I end it all in the same line. But I didn't do that, so. And you know what else, what else I didn't do? I didn't write the days of the week up here. Should I just do them down here? I think I'm going to. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday and Saturday. Let's see if I can hand draw these lines. I wonder what would happen if I watercolored over this. I wonder what kind of saint power this ink has. Probably not much, right? I haven't tried it. Maybe I should try it. I feel like I would have to draw something. Maybe I could just do a splatter and add some of these dots in there. Or just not a splatter, but I don't even know what it's called. It's like a wash. I should really learn some terminology. No, that one was a little crooked and it didn't make it all the way to the top. Habits. Let's see, what would I draw? I'm just going to do a little swirl up here and just see how that watercolor, how the water, how watercolor affects it. Not watercolor, just water. Oh, you can still see the swirl, but. I don't know. I don't like the circle. I don't know. I'm going to add some of this watercolor. That's what I'm going to do. Let's make bad worse. And then I'm going to, I'm going to add a sticker. Oh, I do like the way it's pooling. That's what I like the Tomoyora paper. For this, I like the way stuff pulls in it. So when I do watercolor and it starts doing crinkly stuff like this and I don't want it as crinkly, I just lay like one of these guys on top of it when it's drying to kind of straighten it out. It kind of, whoa. Okay, usually when it's drier than that. Now I just lifted all the color off. <laughs> fail. Anyway, I'm going to add more watercolor. But anyway, usually when it's closer to drying, that obviously wasn't anywhere near dry. I just lay something hard, like usually like this on it. 
and it lays it flatter. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. So what do I do over here? Oh, I do still have to draw my lines. Splitting this. Because I still enjoy doing that. I, I split this. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to draw this line first. Let's see if I can just use that line as a guide. Oh, it feels like it's not enough. I use the top of the W as a guide. No, that's too much. The top of that trademark or that registered trademark symbol on here. That one as the top. There we go. It's been so ugly weather-wise here. And then there are all the fires that are going on in Southern California. It's crazy. So I'm glad it rained. I think the fire is a little bit more contained. Now, hopefully it'll rain some more. Enough to make a difference anyway. would be nice. My mom says she's been praying for rain. Hopefully her prayers get answered. Though I'm not a fan of rain. I like it with your rain when I, it's at night. When I wake up and it's all like everything's wet and crisp. The skies are clear. I love that. Raining during the day just makes me feel trapped. I feel like I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. Not that I want to go anywhere, but if I wanted to, you know, you probably don't know what I'm talking about because I'm the only nutty one. Okay, let's see. I'll put my weather here. It's a high of 90 today. All right, so I finished, it got loud again, so I finished writing in the weather. It's going to be hot, but not as hot as, as it has been, so I do bad. The coolest day is going to be Thursday at 83. Exercise. I've done no exercise today, so I can't write anything in there yet. As far as the weather, it's going to be... It says rainy today, but it hasn't rained at all. Hmm. Unless I missed it. <laughs> I was just inside all day. Um, I have been inside all day. Have I? No, I went to the store earlier. Or was that yesterday? My days are running together now. It was yesterday. Let's see. I don't know. Should I just use my stencil? I think I will. For the weather. Is this the weather one? Which one's the one that has the weather? I cut little things out of ma magazines just to add in there. Maybe I should just add this at the bottom here. I think I am. Oh, I don't have my glue with me. Do I? My glue stick? I have stuff all over the place, so I don't always have what I want to use with me. Oops, I'm kicking. Hold on. Okay, I've had this glue for a while, so we'll see if it works. I used to use it all the time, and then I found a different glue that I liked better, and I just stopped. But it's still good, so well, I hope it's good anyway. I took this out of a Costco magazine because I like these little palm trees and I think they'll they make a good fit right here because they're kind of green and there's a little bit of green in this page and I think that looks cute right there I'm gonna add it all right if I can oh that's like a ball of dry glue hmm Oh, I wonder if that'll work now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, let's glue this down. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I don't want it to seep out. All right, and that was the Tombow Mono Aqua, Liquid Aqua Blue. And I don't remember why I stopped using it. 
well I found that other glue that white glue I forget what it's called so I can't tell you but I really like the way it works I don't have a bottle of that with me but I like this glue for something else and I don't remember what it was is it to make something gummy maybe all right so how does that look the little palm trees there and then I was gonna draw in the weather which is the weather this one doesn't have weather I should try using the stencils for the numbers one day might be neater right okay this one has the weather this is one from uh, Jibun Techo. I don't, I've never had a Jibun Techo, but I've got such a mess going here, guys, because I wanted to do this in natural sunlight, so I'm not at my desk, so I just have piles of stuff that I might want to use. <laughs> as long as nobody walks in here and they're going to be like, what the heck? You have a huge mess going. Well, this is too thick. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was too thick to go. Umbrella, and then this is cloudy on this day. Cloudy on this day. And sunny every other day. Where's my sun? I did say I wasn't going to use this stencil for the sun anymore, but it does look a little bit neater when I do it with the stencil. So just for today. I guess when I have more time, I can use this. My family's out mountain biking so I'm doing this now before they get back when it, they get back we'll go on a walk together hopefully that way we can take our dogs with us I feel like I'm not touching the page. I'm not. Am I? Nope. <laughs> I think I am now. Oops. Missed one. There. I like it. Should I color them in? I think it's still wet. I'm gonna add more color here. I'm gonna color them in. I think the umbrella should be blue. Oh, I can just use some of this blue over here. I don't know what color this other one is. The umbrella should be blue. I think the, oh, it's still, oh, I forgot about that. The industry, what is it? Something in the documented industry. I forgot I used that ink. So I can't really, I was gonna watercolor the outside of the cloud and leave the cloud white, but I'm just gonna do the cloud blue. I can't do the outside because that dominant industry ink Will not do well. I'm only doing the middle. Should I just do the whole thing around it? Maybe, but I'm not. So I'm going to leave it. I like leaving that little bit of color. I really enjoy playing with my watercolors, even though like this is all it's doing, right? Not like I'm doing anything exciting with it. I still enjoy it. Okay, I had my 
the sticker book out but I think now that I put that palm tree in there I should just leave things alone I don't need something else okay what a mess I have okay now what do I want to write now how about oh the happenings happenings I'm gonna leave like a big area for Oh, please tell me. Oh, you know what? I'm going to watercolor over this stuff. I don't know what I was writing here, but hey, guess what? It's kind of gone. Who says I can't spell? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. There we go. Now I just have to wait for that to dry. Oh man, I'm awful. Okay, where's my, my little thing? Let's help it dry a little bit. See, it never happened. And see what I mean? I, I mean, it's a little wrinkled there. And it doesn't always do that. Okay, try this, try that, try that. Oh no, I'm smearing over here too. What a mess. Okay, but if I do this, it dries a little bit smoother. I should do it from the other side too, huh? Where's my pencil board? Did I put it over here? It's probably in my pile of junk over here. You know what? I'm gonna put, yes, the pencil board here. And I'm just going to do this to try and even this side's a little crinkly. If I do that, it straightens it out a little bit. See, yeah, it's not so crinkly. There, see? Look, it's almost like it never happened. This is pretty smooth now, look. So as long as you hold that little, you know, something hard on it, it'll smooth out while it's still a little wet, not too wet, because then it'll take off the thing. So I was trying to figure out what to put in these spots. I put this little, this is from my Shine Sticker Studio book. And I think I might have already showed it to you. If I did, Sorry. I feel like I want to use one of these dots somewhere, but I don't know where. Should I? I'm gonna put one up here to cover that little area when I went over. Not like I care too much, but still. And then what am I gonna do here? Obviously I can't spell happenings. <laughs> I can. Um, let's see should I just write it again or should I put a sticker on there should I put a sticker on there one of these maybe just do it on this side I feel like I'm hearing thunder maybe it is gonna rain today I'm going to go all the way to the end nope I'm going, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to be trying to write on the next page next week, and I'm not going to be able to because of all these stickers. Oh, that made a weird noise. Nope, nope. These peel up really nicely. Or easily, I, su I should say. Just trying to line this up.
got there. <laughs> I'm messing my page up again, aren't I? I don't know that I need that right there. I feel like it's too much, right? Oh, maybe I should put the little one there. Okay, come back up. Maybe if I put the little one there, it won't be as bad. Probably don't need it at all, but whoa. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's thunder. I think the skies are gonna go open up. My family's back from mountain biking, so it's okay. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna get my walk in. Not outside anyway. I guess I could jump on the treadmill. I don't really enjoy the treadmill because I feel like I need outdoor time. Although with all the fires that are going on, I probably don't need that, right? I feel like I want to add something. There's a butterfly up there. Maybe I'll add a butterfly down here somewhere too. Or at the end of this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I can write happenings down here. Let's see. I'm not going to try to be fancy. I'm just going to write it. Happenings. There, that's better. Right? Me trying to be fancy is when I mess, it, mess things up. Happenings. Or should I write, do another dot right here? No. I don't think that would look good. I feel like I want another dot somewhere. I feel like it's gonna start pouring soon. Okay, maybe I don't need another dot. I'll just leave that alone. I think that's gonna be, but I feel like I need to anchor that somehow. Maybe I'll just underline it. Happenings. I feel like I need another one underneath. There. And. Do I need squares? I don't think I do, but I kind of want to add some little squares. Ooh, big squares, little squares. Some of these guys. You know what? I'm going to put my ending weight down here. I wonder if I can do it with this pen. It's a broad nib, so yeah. I'm gonna put my ending weight there. And I'm not gonna put my starting weight. Should I put these little? I don't know that I can do that with this thick broad nib pen. Well, kind of. It's working. Yeah. Oh, I just smeared it. I should have waited till it was dry before I try to overlap it. Oh, oh well. That's how it's going to stay. That's how my week ended up. All right, my work hours here. So I guess I can put like day off here on whatever days off I have. But anyway, it's today. Oh, I should write in what I had today so far. What I have, I had eggs and sausage, my usual for Sunday morning. Um, I need a pen. Okay, it's this one. Look at this little case that I made. Try to copy that hurl stone. And so I made it. And let me just tell you, this gave me the hardest time to make. I don't know how she makes it, but it is like I bought this really soft, I don't know, velvety fabric, fleecy fabric, I guess. And then this is just decorator fabric. Or it was a remnant that was at Joanne's. Both of them were remnants at Joanne's. And I tried making my own and it works okay. It works fine. I do like having my pockets in here only because I think 
the shipping from Australia was going to be too much. And I thought, oh, I can just make it. I can try and make it. It's not exactly the same, but it'll work. It's a, like I said, like I copied Hurlstone. It's inspired by Hurlstone. And if I may one day order from her just because she was an inspiration for that. So I like, I like purchasing from people that give me inspiration and it's worth your money, whatever it costs, because that's a lot of work. Okay. So I had sausage and eggs this morning and a cookie. Again, why can't I lose weight? I only had one. That's it. So I guess, you know what I said? It hadn't rained. It's raining now. It's starting to pour. So they weren't lying when they said it was going to rain. I don't know. I feel like that dot right there is on. I don't know if I should leave it. I think I'm going to. That's how my week is going to be this week. I like it. Oh, this came off. So I'm happy with it. No, I still feel like this dot is weird up here. I think it's better without the dot. What do you think? I don't know. I kind of feel like I want it. You know what? I'm going to add a little flower there. I feel like I need something. There. So that's how my week is. In my Hobonichi weeks for this week of 9-11-2022. So excited for my Hobonichi to be delivered tomorrow. All right. I'm trying to get all the junk out of the way so I have a, a clear picture of what it looks like without all the junk around it. And it's not happening because I have so much junk around it. Anyway, that's how it ends up. I'll write my days of the week right here, my work hours for the week, what I eat in a day. I need to eat more stuff now. I don't know that I'm going to get any miles in outside, but I'll probably jump on the treadmill, hopefully. My weather for the week, the weather forecast here, I'll write, like I said, my miles in. How many? I'll just do like tally marks for however many miles, because sometimes I walk in the morning and at night, and then sometimes at work I walk a little bit. My habits, I'm going to track water, vitamins, exercise, no junk, yoga, no spend. I don't like how it's all jagged, but that's okay. And oh, just a little sticker from the Shine Sticker Studio book. Another one, and these are from that little tin sticker thing. I got it at AliExpress. This is what I look like. What I look like, what it looks like. And these, like you saw me write it, this was written with my Twisby Go, and it has the dominant industry autumn forest ink i don't know that you can tell that it's shimmery it's a shimmering ink oh but you can see how that watercolor shimmering right i like it and this is just from a costco magazine that's it thank you for watching everybody and hopefully i get to film my hobonichi unboxing soon all right bye everybody have a great day